Now looking at that, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala jalla wa ala mentioned it to the creation and offered the amana that local creation that you can Jannah and heavenly and more than the Jannah, the Ziyara, the company of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's presence and his witnessing his glory and forever life that was very much attraction in there. It's like you are kings. And not, not kings of the temporal world but for the ever world. So when these things were shown, me and you and other everyone was sitting outside the ring or on the fence looking, ah yeah, this is wonderful. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala offered this amana, this trust that he that yes, whoever wants. Inna aradna amana ta'ala samawat wal ard. So when the other creation saw, they were sitting outside and seeing the scenario. They said it is too much of a risk. If we go that along that path and we get trapped, we are doomed. It's our end of our pleasure and thing. So everyone was sitting outside the ring. No one wants to enter this actually contest. No one wants to enter. It's too much a stake, it's too much you can gain as well. Many or apne, me and you, we jumped off the fence into the ring. Yes, we will fulfill. We will deal with these things. We will be the ones who will uphold your command. We will deal with these challenges. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not interfere. He offered the creation. Jinnat did the same as well. So we entered the ring. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Innahu kana zaluman jahula. The I didn't command them to take this. They could also live in bliss without being tested. Imagine you, like in like angels, no test, nothing. All player, but you can't get to the highest level. But like angelic life, it's good life as well. The angels, life of angels is good. But they can't gain that kind of pleasure, that kind of closeness, that kind of actually love. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's marifa, which actually human being spirit can do. So that's there we are, other creation is standing by, they, they're not entering and we jumped off. Others are sitting in the fence looking, okay, oh, we don't want to walk. And here we are. Allah Azza wa Jal said, Innahu kana zaluman jahula. That human beings, they have been unjust to themselves. They do not know the seriousness. They're ignorant of the consequence. Now we are in those same situations. Now people, now it's no use saying, Oh, why I am here? You are here because you want to be here. And watch these challenges. But if they do, you exactly chose actually this thing. No one forced you to choose. You chose. Your spirit, your root. This body is like a space suit. Allah has given you to live in this space of the dunya. But the inner person have done that really. So you can't say my suit doesn't remember what I did yesterday. Why would your suit remember? 
My code does not remember what I did yesterday. Coats and clothes don't remember. It is the you who remember what you did yesterday. Similarly, this is the spirit which has taken the covenant, not the bodies. Bodies are clothes. Bodies are outfit, suits for the spirit. So Allah has created a suit. Like we make clothes for body, Allah has made a cloth, a clothing for the spirit. One of it is called body. It's earthly body. This. So, this was the scenario. Now Allah is saying that you've done an injustice to yourself. Zuluman, zulum kia, or jahalat, and he didn't know. Okay, now if the person have done wrong to themselves, he doesn't know how to deal with this situation now. He doesn't know how to actually get out of this situation now. He's put himself in difficulty. Allah did not say to put yourself in this difficulty. Now you put yourself into difficulty. There will be challenges. Now if Allah has sent us from there to deal with this situation, it, has, it would have been actually fine from Allah's point of view. We selected. We made our choice that Allah sent us. We didn't say give this, give us this power, anything whatsoever, or any ammunition, or any weaponry, or any manual, or anything. We said, yeah, we can do it. Now imagine human being coming on the face of the earth. There is no revelation. There is no wahi. There is no guidance. He just left on his natural state that now you deal with the situation. How difficult it would have been. That's what we have done zulm upon. That is the zulm we had done upon ourselves actually. That was what we chose really. Try to understand. Maybe you also know this story also from surface and superficially and because we keep mentioning but have not realized what's really in there. So that's why we say that knowing this path, once you will know that you even do not know what the first what we did in the world of spirits, let aside the other path to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. depth what's really the path is. This is just one incident I am mentioning. So the mentors and the teachers and the people who, mashallah, do dawa, they should have these people can question, oh, I didn't say my, put myself, what I have put myself in actually there. I didn't say to Allah subhanahu wa send me there, why I am in here, and in this difficulty, etc., etc. And it's as though people think that they have been wronged or they actually in reality they have wrong they have been unjust Allah is not saying that Allah is saying okay don't take, if you don't take you're fine now I have taken this on upon myself and I have taken upon myself in the sense that I am sent on the face of the earth no guidance no profit and nothing that is the zulm which I have done and how would I then deal with this situation? No revelation, no, Allah will leave me and shaitan and dunya to deal with. And whatever naturally I know, good, bad, that's it. That's what I chose. That's what I chose. That's what I wanted to do. And Allah said, Inna hu kana zaluman jahula. You have done zulm. And you have proven to be ignorant. Okay, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Okay, I'll do favor upon you now. You've done zulm upon yourself. You have not considered the consequences and what it entails, really. So it was the fadl of Allah. Allah said, Okay, you've chosen to be in this situation. So let's say a person 
somehow ends up in enemy territory or he exposes let's say to a place where there's a set of very dangerous kind of viruses more than coronavirus and you've done this because of your own ignorance you didn't know and you were you're just being reckless and the government sees that you are now in that island trapped and they send you weaponry they send you certain medicines they send you certain suits to cover you they send you certain vaccination they send you certain manuals to deal with in that island with all those actually things now this is the favor of the government upon you because you the government did not say you go there and put yourself in difficulty in, in midst of all these gangsters and all this warfare and things etc when you've been there the king being merciful to you he said okay he put themselves in difficulty he didn't know so let's give them the weaponry protection guidance and so that at least they can survive and they can survive well that is the situation we put ourselves actually on the face of the earth looking at those consequences i mean things yeah allah will do we'll deal with it allah says subhanahu wa ta'ala said now you done you've been unjust to yourself now but but he is god almighty he is allah he is ahlu taqwa ahlu fadl ahlu maghfira ahlu ihsan god of mercy and rahma and fadl and ihsan he said okay this person these beings these beings these foolish means talking about ourselves prophets were free from that they were actually sinless creation so i'm not talking about them it is talking about the creation uh, us other than the ambiya ikram because they by default their soul their spirits were different 